morning, beloved. You are listening to the Rhapsody of Realities by our man of God, Pastor Chris, where he shares divine truths through the Word of God. And today, on the 16th of September, he enjoins us to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, from where our theme verse is taken, says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Praise God. Society is built on trust. We have to trust its systems and structures. We have to trust the seeming goodness of the human person, but we cannot do it blindly. The courts, for instance, are sometimes corrupt, yet we still have to rely on them for their judicial authority to hear and resolve disputes in civil, criminal or other cases. It is the same with the police or civil service. We still have to somehow trust them in spite of these inadequacies. How about the educational system? It is an important institution where you entrust your children's education and well-being. You take your little kids to school, leave them there even though you have heard time and time again that children have been abused by officials and so on. Still, you have to trust. That is why there are those who take advantage of this trust that has been bequeathed to them. They manipulate the system and continually erode the trust in our society. However, the Bible warns us not to put our trust in earthly leaders. Instead, we are encouraged to trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. If the society we live in has become so degenerate, squalid and polluted that leaves you no choice than to trust only in the Lord, Christ. However, trust, just like faith, must be directed to the Word of God. It must be based on God's Word. How important it is to put the Word into you, especially in these days in which we live. Irrespective of the incongruities, depravities, decadences and immoralities in today's society, put your trust in the Lord and His unfailing word. Hallelujah! How wonderful that God has given us His word to trust in because He knows it is infallible, timeless and unfailing. Praise God! And that is really all you require. Right where you are, I invite you to affirm this confession after me. My faith is based on the word. And it is alive, active and prevailing. Circumstances align with my faith-filled confessions. And I rule, reign and dominate my world by my faith. I have taken a hold of the eternal realities of the kingdom. Walking in the full blessings of the gospel of Christ. My life is for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. During your times of studying the word, you may note down these scriptures to meditate and study further in the book of Psalm chapter 18 verse 30, Psalm chapter 91 verse 2, and Psalm chapter 118 verse 9. Blessed be God. If you are a Christian, it is time to imbibe the realities of what the word of God says about you and you can receive these truths through this platform. As you do so, you are training yourself to see and understand by the Spirit. If you would like to get the full daily devotional, simply click on the website from the link in our description and download the digital copy. Join us in propagating this gospel to the ends of the earth when you share this podcast to those in your sphere of contact, your family, your friends, those you work with, and more. God has made you the light of the world and you are turning many to righteousness and from the power of Satan onto God. Hallelujah. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received 
Christ into your heart. If you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities, giving your life a meaning every day. My life made perfect with Rhapsody.